Dang, it's been a long time since I seen this motherfucker. Good morning. What's up, y'all? Good morning, good night, and good afternoon whenever you guys watching. We are back. So we've been off YouTube for what? Basically the whole summer. Hunting season about to start, so me and Andrew are making arrows today. This is gonna be a video. But we gotta recap what we did this summer. Marvin did a lot of car stuff. I caught I caught one good wiper. Then we did some bass fishing. Rods broke. Two rods broke. Yeah, so first what we're gonna do is go over our bow setups, mine and Marvin's. Uh, pretty basic stuff. We have the same arrows running the same stuff. Um, but yeah, different boats. just different boats. That's it. Uh, same arrows or arrows are the same, different colors. And then yeah, so let's get down to it. Oh yeah, and the next video you, we're gonna be you're gonna see us go duck hunting, which is our first time ever going duck hunting. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, we're gonna we're we're getting back into it. Um, we had a lot of stuff go wrong, camera gear and stuff like that. Um, we got no GoPro. Um, Justin, who makes our logos like this one, this one, and this one. Uh, he's letting us borrow his GoPro Hero 8 and stuff like that to make these videos. And right now we're literally use <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We're literally using his lens. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's get into the error build and bow. Into the bow build. I shoot a Hyperforce. This is gonna be my third season shooting this, and I absolutely love my bow. And um, everything on it was put on after I got a blank bow and I put everything on myself. I shoot Koi as well, but it's the Power Max. I think it's my third year, but it's of shooting this bow, but I've been hunting bow season four years now. Still haven't got one. Oh yeah, by the way, I got, I did kill, I've killed two deer with my bows so far this bow hopefully this year is actually the year i kill a buck i've killed two does with it my sight i use is the hot wire three pin sight by trophy ridge um my third pin is the floater so it can go up to 60 yards and i shoot the fuse whatever it came with the bow it's fuse archery it's a three pin it's only set to 40 is my highest but i can all honestly guess to 50. for the rest there were rest uh, I'm rocking the ripcord. Uh, I've never had any problems with it. It was just one that was at the shop and I used it and it's done good for me and never had any problems with it. I use whatever it came with the bow. It's ultra rest, the quad, uh, team quad. And then for my stabilizer, um, I changed it last year. My stabilizer wasn't very, I, I could move my bow a whole bunch and I was aiming. So when I would shoot, it would, my arrow would fly somewhere else. So I upgraded in stabilizer, so I shoot the Hoyt. I think it's a five or eight inch stabilizer. That's a carbon fiber stabilizer, but it's a little bit heavier than my old one. I have a fuse blade blade uh, stabilizer. Um, I plan to not upgrade until I get something on the ground. So hopefully I get one this year. And then for release, I shoot the Spot Hog, uh, Cameron Haynes edition, keep hammering edition, release. Uh, I switched to this last year from to the traditional wrist release, being that it was enclosed. This one's an open uh, hook, and I've shot, I've liked it, and I've been shooting uh, good with it. So I'm gonna keep going with this release. Recently, I think last year, I switched to the wrist one. I did have the big bulky one that looked like a glove, but it still had the trigger and everything on it. But I switched to this so I can wear gloves when it gets cold. And it's a trophy ridge. So the arrows that we shot, so last year we had 50 grain inserts with our arrows in the dish and sh we shot 100 grain uh, broadhead. This year we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna shoot a little bit heavy arrow. Um, this year we're gonna be shooting 125 grain broadhead with a 75 grain insert and then um, I did test it out. I, if you look on my boat right now, you just see a whole bunch of broadheads and stuff like that and fill points with me testing out air, um, arrow weight and stuff like that. But uh, I think this is the best setup for whitetail for us. Um, disclaimer, we are not professionals. This is literally what I've done and what I've tested at home. The fletching that we use is three inch blaze. Fletching, nothing, nothing crazy. I've tried different ones, and I, I didn't like anything, anything else besides these ones. So these are the ones I'm gonna be shooting. 
come for stage shooting because they they do they've done the best for me. So we're gonna get into the arrow build and see how we made how how I made these. Basically, Marvin's gonna do it because he's never done it. But yeah, oh yeah, and I shoot the black and white fletching, and then Marvin's gonna be shooting the yellow and white fletching. So let's get into it. start I'm gonna show you guys how to do it I literally just learned today from Andrew so first we're gonna cut it to the length it's already set and I'll do that and then we'll just do step by step yeah you got all the dust out and we'll just get the burrs Go slightly. All right. Then next, we're gonna mark the top, and then we'll sand it down. Make sure it's all squared and even. Oh, actually, it's not squared. Circled. <laughs> Get a sanding block, pad thingy. Whatever you want to call it. Nice and smooth. Again, not professionals. At all. Pretty square. Alright, now we'll clean it up. Get some rubbing alcohol. And a Q-tip. And then... Get all in there. Look at that. Dry it up. Get all that out of there. And now we're gonna insert this. Uh, what do you call this? The, the inserts. The inserts. Yep. Insert the insert. All right. These particular ones are um, brass. The, yeah, brass 75 grain uh, inserts. They are actually called hit inserts. Most inserts actually sit on the outside like this, but these are a hit inserts, so they sit inside the arrow shaft actually. So we're just gonna mix it a little bit. It's getting hard. We're just gonna apply a little bit all around it. When I first started, I put like like five scoops on there. Yep. And they were they don't need much at all. All right, you see. Mhm. Mm Put a little bit on the edge. Some right there. Now, uh, if you guys buy this insert right here, um, if you guys cut this part off right here, it'll make it 50 grain. So that that little that little nub right there. It's 25. Yep. So you can just get a pair of pliers and just cut it off and sand it down. It'll be. Uh, 50 grains if you guys want 50 grains, but if you guys bear, buy bear shaft Easton errors five millimeters like we do They do come with the silver inserts like this that are already 50 so and they come with tool and your yeah, Hardening yeah. you also do not need black glue Push it in Use the tool Help you out push it in Carefully. I'm gonna flip it. Why you flip it? I don't know. And it just told me. I've always flipped it just to make sure that it's all the way back there because glue gets trapped right behind that right there. All right. And now, next step, we'll clean it off. Old handy sock. Don't ask why. 
And now we'll do the fletching. For your fletchings, usually we do two colors. Or you can look kind of goofy. We did this just for fun. There's a bad arrow. Three different colors. It's up to you guys. But I'm going with yellow and white. I actually never seen no one shoot yellow and white. Like friends, family, never seen no one use yellow. So we'll slide it in here. If I can get it in. Okay. Go to the second notch. Yep. And then the glue. Again, go easy on it, but the edges do need glue or else they'll peel off. Put it on. Yeah, push it against that thing. And add evenly pressure along the whole thing. I do about like 10, 15 seconds. It dries pretty fast. Or it gets like sticky fast. There you go. There's your arrow. Now, usually, what, a day? Yep. Just safety, just case this doesn't come out or these like get crooked or whatever. But we wait a day. Till we shoot but for us or for me at least i'm gonna wait about two weeks till i shoot inside my bowing because i'm gonna get a new site and yeah, have same. a new theme for my bow i know i said i wasn't gonna buy nothing for my bow but i do what you gotta do make it look cool yep here's all the arrows that you got done and all that right there just get some alcohol clean it off Yep, it's so gonna get dirty anyway. There's gonna be extra glue always. I've, I haven't been able to get it. Like, it, just, it did just squeeze up, but that right there, that extra glue, you just get some rubber alcohol. Right in a Q-tip and just run it down there and we'll clean it up. That, that'll do it for today. Made our arrows. Uh, I shot a couple earlier compared to my old arrows, and they're way better. And hopefully, Andrew gets some duck like next week. This weekend, this on weekend. Sunday. And maybe I'll come and record. I'm not duck hunting this year, but hopefully we get a deer down. All of us. Maybe get Buck James on one. Get him, uh, use, let her use our bow just this year. Maybe. But thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. All I gotta do is get across. <laughs> no!